What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on another video today. Today I got another fire one for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my catfish two-way slasher with sharp shooting takeover. This build has been crazy. I've been having so much fun on it. Now the gameplay you're about to see today in this video is not the build at 99. Although I do have the build at 99, I just haven't been able to get gameplay on it yet. But the clips you're going to see is from... 97 98 ish all right and you can see how crazy it is at 97 98 so at 99 this build is going to be even more crazy but i'm going to show you guys just the progressions and then we'll get into the gameplay and then i'll show you guys how to make the build so here are the progressions for the build at 99 overall i'm not going to get crazy into it with the progressions i'm just going to run over it real quick because i do need to get gameplay of it at 99 overall then i can really break it down but 88 driving dunk 83 ball 83 ball handle, 86 steel, 82 perimeter, um, 95 speed, 94 acceleration. And now let's get into the part gameplay and I can show you guys exactly what I mean when I say this build has been insane. So here we are getting to the gameplay now. These are just all different cut up clips from when I got the build to 97 overall. I got tired of my career so I decided to go into the park, go into the wreck and try grind it there. Um, which I ain't gonna lie, it was tough in the wreck. Wreck is really dependent on your teammates. Uh, especially for the dub and it depends on how good the other team is as well but you see around cooking up i shooting threes i was getting some crazy crazy contact dunks on top of this build in the wreck and if you're dunking on people in the wreck you already know the build is going because the wreck they'll be running centers with hall of fame defense high interior defense so when you dunk on them it's super satisfying as you watch this oh my goodness you see that dunk animation i've never seen that contact dunk on animation on any of my builds i was super hyped but you see here i run out i'm shooting threes with this build i'm just going crazy and having that 80 ball handle unlocked at 96 overall just changes the build completely you see there he's he's in the paint and he can't stop me I'm, i have trey young size up now so i can really cook up and dribble damn near like a play shot even though i don't get d rolls limitless takeoff dunks with this build is insane like bro you guys have to make this build if if you're able to and if you have the vc you won't regret it although i will admit the grind from what is that 90 overall if you, if you can get it to a 90 over the grind to 95 overall is tough because you do not get hall of fame playmaking so getting progressions is really hard because you get the most rep for finishing because this build is a more blue than green pie chart like i said i will be showing you guys how to make it and you see that nasty contact dunk he's on the ground i, I just killed that man and this build has been the most fun i've had on this game uh it is pain when i was running in wreck though i won't lie that was tough but you see there they're all in the paint and they just can't stop the build the build is just too glitchy and you can take it up and you can shoot the rock i'm showing you you can shoot threes on it it's an 83 ball so you guys already know it's automatic you can see some gameplay here on the twos if you want to run around the screen with the build you could it's not the most effective but it's able to the build is just so all around the only weakness is probably the defense it says two-way slasher so people it's a clickbait build it's it's confusing they're gonna see they step on the court they see two-way slasher then they check your takeover now you have sharp take and it's it's just mind-boggling most people don't most people have seen the two-way finisher that can shoot but i don't really see two-way slashers running around with an 83 ball and that's in my opinion that's what makes this build so glitchy but you see here i have sharp take now so i'm over here taking my fadeaways you know i love them hop jumpers i do it on my stretch playmaker i'm gonna do it on this build too especially with sharp shooting takeover all right, let's go into the my player builder. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make this build. All right, guys. So here we are in the my player builder. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make my catfish two a slasher with sharp takeover. Now for position. Now, if you care about having things like dimer and floor general, you want to go point guard. But I think you will get less badges if you don't care about those. Go with shooting guard. You get more badges. Hand doesn't matter, and jersey number doesn't matter. It's personal preference. Now the pie chart you want to pick is the more finishing than shooting pie chart. Physical profile, go with the all speed profile. You want to be as fast as you can, especially being a guard without Hall of Fame playmaking. Now this is how I upgraded it. Um, there is a way to get more badges 
but I like having standing dunk. And to get the sharp take, you upgrade your three point, your post fade, you bring your mid range all the way up until you get all uh, those 15 shooting badges. This is how you get sharp shooting takeover. Having that lower mid range and higher three ball will give you sharp shooting takeover. Now upgrade your ball handle pass accuracy all the way and take take away from your pass accuracy to maintain 13 playmaking badges. Now defense, you upgrade the main things for defense for guards. You guys already know perimeter lateral steal and defensive rebound. Now this is what I did. I maxed out interior and then I upped my block until I got seven defensive rebounding. This is how I made it. Now you can take away the block and interior and just run around with six. That's totally up to you. But this is what I wanted. I wanted that little bit of interior defense. It helps in my opinion. Now the 22 remaining attribute upgrades, you wanna put it on your close shot. Now, I'm not saying this is the best way to upgrade it, but this is what I did. Now, if you take away from your close shot, you have two remaining. You can put it anywhere you want. I I'm pretty sure I put it down back on the block. And this is the badge spread you get. This is the way I made it. If you're able to mess around with the attributes and still get the sharp take and all of that, go for it, bro. But this is what I did. Now, I went with built. Now, anytime I make builds, you guys already know I'm on a metric system. Because metric system will cheese it out and give you certain cheats. Like, just give you that extra height. So, instead of 1.96, you want to go 1.95. This unlocks small contact dunk. So, you get two dunk packages um, at 99. but Or 97, something like that. Now weight, obviously you want to go lowest weight, arm length, max your arm length out. So now you see you have an 84 driving dunk, 70 mid range, 75 three. Uh, let's go back to that driving dunk. So remember there is small contact dunks. You need to be below 6.5 because you went with 1.95. You are technically below 6.5. So at 97 at yeah, plus two, you unlock those contact dunks. All right. That's what's so glitchy about this. You get a 79 ball handle, but at 96, you get the 80 ball handle, and you get all of those glitchy animations like Trey Young, Damian Lillard, and all, all that you need to dribble. You do not get D-Row size up though. That is a downfall. So if you care about D-Row size up, they'll make this build, because um, you will not get it. Your, your ball handle won't be high enough. And as you can see here, you have sharp shooting takeover. Obviously, you can go with any of these takeovers. I wouldn't be mad at you, but I went with sharp shooting takeover because who wouldn't want to have a two-way slasher with sharp shooting takeover? In my opinion, that's one of the most broken things in the game. So you take the sharp take, you put the build through, and you see here you have a two-way slasher. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, drop a sub. Do what you guys want with this build video. I appreciate you guys watching. Shoots.